So all of us beauty lovers know that Sephora just had a sale and I did pick up some items so I wanted to share those with you today. If you're interested in seeing my haul then just keep watching. Here, I'd like to quickly introduce myself. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're into, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe now. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey all, welcome back to my channel. Before we get into the goodies, I do need to address my voice. <laughs> it is in and out. I did post on my community tab just the other day that I have been sick and that's why I have not been filming any videos. And today is the first day that I have felt okay so although my voice still sounds bad at least i can talk now <laughs> so we're on the up and up and i am feeling much better than i have felt for the past like a week or so so forgive my voice hopefully it doesn't annoy you guys too much but i really wanted to share these items and start using them so here we go so as i said this is a sephora sale haul but at the end i will also show you guys um, a few other items that i have that were not from sephora so i got my sephora box here i did make two orders <laughs> the first one uh, was an online order and then the second one was a pickup in store order which i really like that feature they just opened up a new sephora near me like an actual sephora store Previous to that, we only had a Sephora inside JCPenney, so I've been super excited to have like a real Sephora near me now. They still don't have everything, but they have quite a lot. So anyway, I did my pickup in store order, and let's see what we got here. So the first item I have here is from Glow Recipe, and this is the Watermelon Glow Pink Dream Body Cream. So this is obviously a body moisturizer, but what's fun about it is that it has a watermelon smell to it. I actually tested this in store and I love the smell of it. I love the smell of watermelon and I felt like what better time than now to get a watermelon lotion. But also it has AHAs in it. So it is good for basically giving you a little bit of chemical exfoliation on the skin. Now I do a lot of chemical exfoliation on my face but hardly ever on my body. And I really do need it on my body because I have very dry skin on my body. Um, so I figured something like this would help. Of course, they do have other products that have AHAs that will do the same thing. But this one caught my eye and I tried to leave it there, but I picked it up. So <laughs> I can't wait to actually use that one. The next item in here is from the company Bread. And this is a black owned hair company that Sephora now stocks. And this is their everyday gloss hair oil. So this is what it says it is. It's an everyday <laughs> hair oil that is supposed to be light enough to use on a daily basis. I won't be using it that often, um, but I do hope that it's light enough for me to use on my hair without having to wash it like same day. So I'm really excited to try this. Um, from the reviews, a lot of people said that it was it made their hair feel silky and smooth. I don't expect my hair to feel silky per se, but I would like it to feel a bit smoother, my natural hair, and I would like some shine to it. So I'm gonna try this out and see how it works. Um, it says it can be used on wet hair, dry hair, whatever. It's an oil, <laughs> but I really, I really wanted to try a new hair oil, and when I saw this one, I figured I should pick it up. So I'll have to let you guys know in the future how it works out. And I like their packaging, it's pretty cool looking. And then the last thing in this little bag that I have is a lip product and this is from Rare Beauty. This is my first item that I've ever picked up from Rare Beauty. If you've never heard of Rare Beauty, it is a beauty company by Selena Gomez. So <clears throat> this is the Lip Souffle Cream and it is in the shade Motivate. <laughs> So what it says on here is it's a whipped lip cream that delivers comfortable one stroke color with a vivid velvety finish. So like I said, mine is in the shade Motivate and it is this beautiful like watermelon pink. Now I did not swatch this in store, but I saw it online and I was really interested in this color. So let's see what it looks like. So I have to say it felt really smooth going on and it definitely has a whip texture. It's actually not showing up as bright as I thought it would be. So I'm hoping this actually works for me. Um, it's actually just not as vivid as what I was thinking. But that could be perfect on my lips. I don't know. We'll see. 
So I have to fill y'all in later on this one, but I was hoping it was going to be more true to the outside shade. But looking at swatches online and everything, I think it may still work because I saw it on other people's lips and it looked really good. So I'm hoping this works out for me. So now on to my box of goodies here. Um, first up is this fragrance, which I already did a video on this. This is from Tom Ford. It's called Soleil Brulant. And this is Tom Ford's newest fragrance release. Like I said, I already have a video on this, so I'm not going to spend much time on it. But I do want to show y'all this gorgeous, gorgeous bottle. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. I really like this. I don't want to say too much about it because like I said, I have a video talking all about it. So check it out. I will link it. Um, but I did pick this up during the sale. The second fragrance that I picked up during this sale is from Kayali. And this is something that's been on my list of things I want to smell for a long time, but I was unsure about it. This is Deja Vu White Flower. And I just saw that, that earlier today as I'm filming this, they released a new fragrance, but up until today, this was the newest fragrance in their collection and this is the only one that I hadn't tried. So this is what the bottle looks like. And of course, this is a white floral fragrance with some vanilla in it as well. Now I have not worn this yet, but I did spray it on my hand and I have to say, it's looking pretty good y'all. <laughs> so of course I smell, I smell flowers in it. And in particular, I feel like I smell tuberose, but it's not like a really heavy tuberose and possibly jasmine. It smells like a tuberose and jasmine mix to me, but it's also sweet and you can definitely smell the vanilla undertones, but it's not a overly vanilla fragrance. So I definitely think this would be perfect for springtime. And if you're looking for something more vanilla and less floral, I think this would be perfect to layer with their vanilla 28. But I'm liking it just how it is. And when I sprayed it on my hand the other day, I was really happy with it. Because um, like I said, I'm not sure. I wasn't sure about this because floral fragrances are hit or miss for me, honestly. But this one is really, really nice. I'm not saying it's the most unique fragrance I've ever smelled. I'm definitely not saying that. But it is really nice. And I'm really excited to get some wear out of this one. So this is Deja Vu by Kayali. The next item I have is a mascara and I'm actually wearing it today because I really needed to break open a new mascara. <laughs> so this is from Lancome and this is the Edo Lash. And like I said, I'm wearing it today. But let me just show y'all what the wand looks like or the packaging looks like. I really like it. It's kind of like a square tube. And then the wand is one of these like scoop wands pretty much. It's a plasticky type wand, which I tend to prefer. And I actually really like it on my lashes. This is my second time using it. I used it the other day as well. And I just did one coat and I feel like it made a pretty big difference. So I'm excited to keep playing around with this and see how it builds up. Um, when I wore it the other day, I only had, actually I had it on all day and I don't remember it flaking or anything like that. So I'm excited to play around with this more and I'm hoping that this will be a good summer mascara for me um, because if, you know, with it being so hot, a lot of times I get like smudges of mascara down here underneath my eyes, which I hate, but I also do not like waterproof mascara. So anyway, I am really liking this thus far and I'm hoping that it's going to work well in the hot weather. Next up is a product that I have been wanting for a while now, thanks to Keiko Beauty here on YouTube. This is from The Ordinary and it is the AHA BHA Peeling Solution. So let me open this for y'all so you can see what it looks like. So this is their red serum that you've probably seen people use. And if you watch her, I know you've seen her use it because she always raves about it. But this is a chemical exfoliating product. Um, that is to be used occasionally to help renew the skin and I'm excited to try this. Um, before I was using Baby Facial from Drunk Elephant for the same reason. However, I've used that up and I wanted to try this so I figured I would give it a try. If it doesn't work, of course I'll go back to my Baby Facial but 
I, I want I like to switch up my skincare products so when I go through something I typically will like to try something new unless it's an absolute staple for me and but I really like to switch it up because I feel like that helps trick my skin so yeah I'm excited to try this out and of course the ordinary is very reasonably priced so you don't have to wait for a sale to get this I think this was like less than ten dollars I'm sure I needed a new um, cleansing balm for my face. I like to use cleansing balms to remove my makeup. I've used cleansing oils before as well, but I prefer cleansing balms and I was out. So I picked up two because I was undecided on which one I wanted. So the first one is from the Inky List. I've never tried anything from them, but this is the Oat Cleansing Balm. And like I said, it's just a makeup removing balm. So I'm excited to try it. This is what it looks like. It's very well priced, so I didn't have to wait for a sale on this. It was $10, and this is five fluid ounces of product. Um, let me see if it has a smell. Oh, it's sealed, so I don't want to open it because it's sealed, but I'm wondering if it has a smell. Let me know if y'all have tried this, what you think of it. But the other cleansing balm I picked up is from the Sephora brand. I used to use one of their cleansing balms all the time, but that one that I used to use has been discontinued. I guess this is the replacement, but I don't know if it's the exact same. But this is the Melting Cleansing Balm from um, Sephora Collection. And let's see. It is sealed as well. Actually, I need to use both. I need to use these products because like I said, I'm out. So I will go ahead and open them for y'all since we are here, I might as well. Cause I will be opening one of these tonight anyway. Okay, so here's the Sephora one. And you can see it's green. It has a little bit of a smell to it, but not much. It just smells clean and it looks like, like a jelly of some sort. Well, not like a jelly, more like a balm <laughs> as the name would imply. So that's one of them. And then I'll go back and show y'all the texture of this one as well. So this one definitely feels a little bit more fluid. Uh, so a little thinner than other cleansing balms that I've used. It doesn't have any smell. It just smells like oil. Like pretty much every other cleansing balm. But so far it feels really smooth. Um, some cleansing bal balms can be very like chunky, kind of like the consistency of coconut oil, which I don't really prefer the texture of those. This one feels really smooth, so I think I'm gonna like it as long as it removes my makeup well. The next item I have is a brush, and this is from the Sephora collection, and I really love their brushes, uh, but this is the Pro Bronzer Brush. Let's open this. So my favorite bronzer brush is this one from Marc Jacobs, which I have been loving and using for years. However, I love it so much that I don't wash it as often as I need to, because if I wash this, I need at least a day for this to dry. <laughs> So I honestly don't wash it very often, which is not good. Wash your brushes, guys. So I wanted to get a replacement. This one is expensive. I think it's around 70 bucks if they even still sell it. So I saw this one from the Sephora brand. And like I said, I love their brushes. So I decided to pick this up. And they actually had 30% off during the sale. Um, so I kind of, I hope I love this one, but if I do, I kind of wish I would have gotten two of them, but they look to be pretty similar. Marc Jacobs is definitely more tapered, which I really like, but this one feels very similar as far as softness and all and size, which I like. So we'll see what it looks like once I start using it. Cause this brush, like I said, is very old. I've had it for probably five years or so, and I absolutely love it. So I'm hoping this will stand up to it. But if not, I can always use it as a powder brush or something, but I'm hoping that it'll be a good replacement for when I need to wash my Marc Jacobs brush. <laughs> so that was all that I picked up from Sephora, but like I said, I have a few other items that I wanted to share. So first up is Pat McGrath. They were having their own sale. Um, I believe it was 25% off. And so I picked up the concealer that I've been wanting to try from them. And again, this purchase was influenced by Miss Keiko Beauty here on YouTube. I was always interested in their concealer, but when I saw her rave about it, then I knew I needed to try it. But this is what the concealer looks like, and this is called the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer. And I am you I purchased it in the shade M19. And I'm wearing it underneath my eyes today. I think it's a good match for me as far as skin tone. However, it is not a brightening color in my opinion. 
I probably would have to go like a shade lighter for it to be brightening but it's more just a nice natural skin tone finish I really like it so far like I said I am using it today and I did use it one other day this week and I really like the finish of it it looks like a natural finish it doesn't look cakey and you don't need a lot of product which I really enjoy to go with that I also picked up their concealer brush because I have been wanting to try this it is dirty so um, disregard that but I did use it today and I have to say this is I I mean I like it but I was hoping this would give me like the finish of a beauty blender <laughs> in a brush form I hate using a beauty blender underneath my eyes every day not because I don't like the finish but because I don't necessarily feel the need to use a beauty blender for my face so the fact that I need to just wash it just to use concealer is just annoying to me <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm lazy but anyway I was hoping I could get that in a brush form but this this is okay but I don't necessarily think I needed it but I will use it it's also shorter than what I thought I thought it was like a full-size brush but this is let me just show it to you compared to the concealer so you can get a idea of the size so yeah this is what the concealer looks like this is like standard concealer size and this is the size of the brush. Now this would make it very easy to travel with, um, but I don't know, it's not bad. It's just, I don't know that I needed it, but I will use it for sure. So that's those two. And then I also needed to re-up on my lip gloss from Pat McGrath. This is the Lip Fetish Lip Balm and it is clear. I don't want to open this because I'm not completely out of my old one yet. My old one is in my purse, but I will just show y'all what the packaging looks like. But it's just clear. And this is just one of those little luxurious products that I can use on a daily basis to make me feel slightly fancy. <laughs> so I picked up two of those. Next up is a product that was sent to me from Octoly and C.O. Bigelow. So thank you to Octoly and C.O. Bigelow. Uh, they sent me this product for review. However, these are my honest opinions. So this is just a three pack of their salves. So I have used the rose salve from them before. This is the one I had used before. But they also come in different scents. So they come in lavender. And Sakura Rose was the third one. And so if you've never used these before, I typically just use them as lip balms. But lately what i've been doing with these is keeping one like in my living room area and i've been using it on my nose because i've been sick <laughs> so it's really helped to moisturize my nose after blowing it way too much and i've also been using it on my cuticles um <laughs> when i'm sitting down watching tv so i don't have a cuticle oil that i have like downstairs um so this has kind of been working in that um way as well and of course i've been using it as a lip balm now is it my favorite lip balm no, but it gets the job done. I My favorite, if you guys don't know, my favorite lip balm is from Laneige. I, that is my all-time favorite lip balm. But these will get the job done, and these are very inexpensive. So if you're looking for a inexpensive lip balm that still gets the job done, and you don't care about, you don't want to spend $20 on a lip balm, then I definitely recommend these they they get the job done i don't find that they are drying on my lips some chapsticks and all i feel like after you use them that they make your lips feel drier i don't feel that these are the case these are just like basic lip balms but i do like the extra scents that they have them in now so check them out i'll leave a link to them down below all right and then the last items that i have here are from nars and i actually wanted to pick this item up during the sephora sale however sold out first day so I ordered it directly from NARS and this is the NARS Sunkiss Bronzing Cream. So let me show y'all. This is what the packaging looks like. This comes in two shades, Laguna and Casino. And I picked up Casino, which is the darker of the two shades. But this is what the packaging looks like. It's very, very nice. I hadn't even opened this box yet, so this would be my first time seeing this. And let's open this up. So it is a cream bronzing shade. So what this reminds me of, just looking like when I first saw the pictures for this, it reminds me of the Chanel bronzing cream that all the YouTubers used to rave about back in the day. 
but the Chanel bronzing cream would never work for my skin tone. <laughs> so this reminds me of that. The way it looks, the consistency that I've seen it like look like on camera at least, um, it looks to be very similar. So I'm hoping that this will work for me. Um, just a second, I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. So before I swatch it, I do wanna show you guys the brush that I ordered to go along with it. And I know I probably didn't need this brush, but I honestly was kind of at a like point where I didn't know what type of brush I would use with this product. So I just went ahead and ordered the one that they came out with to go with it. So this is what the brush looks like. And it was made specifically to go with this product. And it's soft, it feels very nice. I like NARS brushes and I like the color of this as well. So let's see, I think I'm gonna just swatch it with my finger instead of using the brush. So it feels very smooth. <laughs> And it is not that dark, y'all. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is pretty, like it'll show up on my skin, but it's not very dark. It is also a cool tone bronzer. But I'm thinking that this will work because honestly, if you guys have ever used cream bronzers or liquid bronzers and they are too dark, um, they can quickly go left. So I'm thinking this will work. It feels very smooth when you blend it out. It kind of feels like it dries down to more of a powder finish, but it doesn't look dry. So this is my hand with it blended out. This is my hand without it. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. I definitely can. But when you blend it out, it kind of looks like it went into my skin tone, which I'm thinking is a good sign because you can obviously see that this hand is darker, but it doesn't look like I just applied something really dark on this hand unless you compare it to this one. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. So I'm excited to try this. Um, I'm hoping it's gonna work. I was worried that it might be too light for me, but I think it's gonna work. So I do have the Casino bronzer. Mine is old, like the regular powder bronzer. So I did want to compare the colors. So I'm gonna swatch it on my other hand. All right, so this is the powder bronzer. It looks to be like the same, y'all, because showing up here on camera, I can barely see it. And that's how the cream looked when I swatched it. So let's swatch the cream. All right, yeah, I think it's gonna work because the powder casino bronzer works for me. So I'm thinking the cream should as well because they look to be like the same color. If anything, the cream seems to be a little bit darker. So. Let's hope that works, but I'm super excited to try that out, y'all. So I'll have to let y'all know in a future video what I think about it. But as of right now, it looks like it's gonna be a winner. So let's see. So I'm almost done. I just have three more products to share with y'all. I ordered some products from the brand TP Body Essentials. I found out from them from Tara from Opinionated Scents. I will leave her channel down below. But she, I think, mentioned this company on Instagram. And so I checked them out. They are a small-owned, female-owned, black-owned business. And they sell body products, like scented body products. So I wanted to try them out. So I picked up three things. Uh, this first one is the Island Glow Hydrate and Glow Body Oil. And this one says it's supposed to smell like pineapple, honeydew, coconut, and banana. And I believe, yeah, it's sealed. So let's see how it smells. Okay, that smells really good, y'all. Tropical. It kind of reminds me of a pina colada. Okay, I'm excited to try this out. I'm thinking this will layer really well with some of my fruity, tropical fragrances. That's why I picked this up. So I'm excited to try this. And with a body oil of this size, you can either apply it like all over your body. You could mix it in with a lotion, you know, do whatever you want to do, put it in a roller ball and apply it to pulse points, whatever you want to do. So I'm excited to try this out. And then I also picked up two of the body butters. Um, the first scent that I have here is sea salt and orchid. And I have not opened this yet, but these are like whipped shea butters, I believe. Okay, so this one has an aquatic scent to it, but it's actually pretty light, lightly scented. So I could probably wear this with a variety of things. It's probably not gonna be something that competes with my fragrance. I was hoping that it would be more scented than in what it is, but 
it's kind of like that salty vanilla scent that will go well with a lot of things it smells really good but it's not that heavily scented which could be a good thing so this one like i said is sea salt and orchid and of course when i applied it to my skin it did feel very moisturizing uh, but the second one that I picked up is Cucumber Mint. And I do want to say I love the way she packaged these because she actually packaged them with a ice pack inside. Because um, right now it's hot <laughs> and these are butters and oils. So everything was sealed, everything was well wrapped, and they had ice packs inside. So even in this Florida heat, this package sat on my doorstep for at least four hours before I made it home and nothing was melted. I opened up the package immediately because I wanted to see if it was melted or not. Uh, but this is my first time actually like opening the product. So just wanted to let y'all know that. So let's see how this one smells. Okay, so I definitely smell cucumber and mint. It's not very sweet. It's very refreshing. It is scented, but not like so scented that it will probably overtake your fragrances. But I'm thinking this will work well with my Roses on Ice from Killian. I know Bath and Body Works has their Cucumber Melon Lotion, but honestly, sometimes their lotions can be overpowering. I don't really want to smell like them. I want to smell like my fragrance. So I think this will work well to layer with that because like I said, it has that cucumber scent in there and that mint scent in there, but it's not overpowering in the slightest so anyway that is it for my haul i hope you guys enjoyed it i know this video was super long but i have been waiting to get into these products so i cannot wait to try out try them out now that i've shared them with you all so if you've tried any of the products i mentioned please let us know what you think of them down below did you shop the sephora sale if you did let us know what you got what's your favorite item what didn't work for you all of that so anyway <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoy making it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.